we are going to explore these two activities element exists while loop these are also related to the control of workflow so let's go for it firstly we'll move on a element existence actually this activity is used to check presence of element is it exists or not and you can also put here a timer for existence of element when you will edit its attribute you will see here it's a property first we will select here x path because i want to select this button start button so just just get a start button because reason for selecting it that's uh, when you will click on it it will change so it means it will not detect after time so refresh it just select this button whichever text I will select a button whichever text start as we know its presence in a current page after time it will not exist so we'll just put here one second for timeout and now we'll check here by javascript to display a message I will put our two activities first it's found and second will be it's not found as you can see here it's a node where we will connect uh, this activity which will be executed on a presence of element here is a fallback which will be executed if it's not present but remember that it will be also wait for a one second for your element to execute it we'll play console and i will play it as you can see it's a found message but in case of pressing start as you can see it's change retest it as you can see it's not found you can make a decision making workflow by using element exists you can also check existence of a element for your workflow our next activity is a while loop it's a loop it's run while its condition will be true here like uh, i'll paste here javascript just paste here javascript here will be set a normal variable it will be v its value will be 5 here we will set a variable value which will be checked during a runtime in a while loop just connect with it it's a while loop we'll just paste a code which will be run during execution of loop i'll set here a javascript code which will be display a value of variable atoma reference variables and here will be name of variable so it will display just a variable in a console and here will be decrease variable value we'll just put here a increase variable value activity and we'll edit its attribute and set here a variable name as we know its name is v here we want to decrease so just put minus one now we'll define a here condition while this loop will be run here is a variable v uh, while it's greater than one we will also paste here a javascript which will be check its outer of loop or inner of loop connect with its fallback and give here a display message outer of loop as you know its a current value of variable is we will also connect this workflow to the start of loop because we want to run a loop again and again while its condition is true it will be execute this fallback after when it's not according to our condition which is defined in a while loop as we know its condition is here while the value of variable v is greater than 1 it will be execute a workflow which has been defined here it will be run again and again while it's according to our condition after the incorrection of condition, it will give a fallback. We will just test it. Just clear here. Log. Now save it. As we know, it's successfully run. Now it's out of loop. I hope you are understand.